So, girls since we are now lunch finally, are you coming to the Christmas party tomorrow night? Because girl it's gonna be lit. Girl you know she ain't going to no party, she's a church going girl, Christians are not allowed to party. So you just wasting your time asking her. Doris, please shut your pie hole, you don't even know the first thing about being a Christian. And besides I never said I was a Christian, I go to church sometimes, but it doesn't mean I'm Christian. Well, prove to us that you aren't, by showing up to the party tomorrow night. Doris, I don't have to prove anything to you, because you know that I'm right. Christian girl, whatever you say Doris, I don't have time for your mess today. Doris, look just chill out okay? Sure, but don't waste your time on her, she ain't going, she probably has to go to church. She said she ain't a Christian Doris, and even if she is a Christian, I see nothing wrong with it. So give it a break will you? Fine, I'm leaving. Talk to you later. Girl, how are you friends with that? I don't even know myself. <laughs> so, are you gonna come? I hate to keep asking. But it's okay if you can't. I don't know Trish. I mean I have to ask my mom, but I doubt if she lets me go. Is it because you are a Christian? Or your mom just won't let you go. I said I'm not. How many times I have to say that? But I will go. Yes I will okay and it's not to prove a point to your friend. Lighten up okay. But glad that you are coming. We go and have so much fun. I can't wait girl. So what kind of party will it be? I barely go to parties. Girl, you got to be kidding me right? But anyways of course there will be liquor and all other types of stuff if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, of course I know what you mean, I guess it's been a minute since I went out, that's all. Okay, it's settled then, see you tomorrow night girl, so excited. Great, what did I get myself into? I age well, ain't nothing wrong with a little fun, my lord will understand that I'm young and want to have just a tad bit of fun, besides, I deserve it. I go to church every Sunday, Bible study and help out. One night of fun won't hurt my soul. I don't have any decent clothes to wear, I might have to borrow one of my mom dress without her noticing, already I will have to lie or sneak out the house. Or maybe I should ask first just to see what she gonna say. Who's calling my name? What's up Andrea? Can I walk with you? Well it looks like you already started walking, how do you know me in the first place? I'm Marcus by the way, I don't know you, but you are friends with Trish and Doris right? I'm Trish's friend, Doris is her friend, not mine's. So why is you try to stop me? What's behind all this? I don't know you like that. Nothing, I guess I wanted company while I walk the same way you are. So are you going to the Christmas party tomorrow night? What's up you? Yes I am going, why do you ask? Just asking, I basically asked everyone, but I thought Christians don't go to stuff like that. Are you a Christian? If so, why are you going? Look, like I tell everyone else, I'm not a Christian, I do and go as I please. Stop asking me that, like seriously it's getting on my last nerves. Now have a good day Marcus, see you at the party. Okay then. Seems like I struck a nerve. I don't understand why my mom don't give me a key to the house. Where have you been, young lady? You were supposed to be here since two hours ago so we could have plenty of time to get ready for Bible study, now we gone be late. I'm sorry mom, I lost track of time. But can I please stay home tonight mom? Just this once. No can do, please go get ready so we can go. As a matter of fact, just come on, it doesn't matter how you look at this point. Let's go now. Young lady, roll your eyes one more time in my house. Now let's go. Mom, can I ask you something? What is it? Can I go to a Christmas party tomorrow night with some of my friends please? Heavens no, I might have plans for tomorrow night, and you know just as well as I. Christmas or not. 
Nothing good comes from out of the party with just a bunch of teens with no home training. But mom, there will be adults there watching everyone. Mom please, I go to church faithfully. I pray, I even hope I like a good Christian girl should. All I'm asking is just this once. Please mama. I said no. Now what would the good Lord think of my daughter a Christian, being at such a thing like that? If it ain't involving the church, then sorry, it's a no honey. Now I don't want to hear about no more of this. We already late. Fine. I like to think each and every one of you made up the Bible study. Today we are going to talk about lukewarm Christians. This should be good. For some of you who don't understand what a lukewarm Christian is well, a lukewarm Christian is someone who claims to be a believer in Jesus but does not appear to be committed to Christ, may occasionally attend church, rarely reads the Bible, and dabbles in the sinful things of the world. Such so-called Christians appear to be Christians in name only but are most probably false converts. However, this does not mean that every lukewarm Christian is not a truly regenerate Christian because there are instances where new Christians will dabble with their old ways and experience conviction of their sins before finally giving them up. With some people, it takes longer than it does with others to seek Christ fully and completely. Revelation 3:15-16, I know your deeds, that you were neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were cold or hot. 16 So because you are lukewarm, and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. So, generally speaking, lukewarm Christians have one foot in the world and the other in church. True Christians, mature Christians, follow the Lord and seek His will. They try to avoid sin, and they grow in their relationship with Jesus. In the above scripture, we see the words of Christ written to the Laodiceans. It was a church full of false converts, and the Lord was calling them to repentance. So daughter do you have something to speak on about this topic? Pastor, what does it mean to be a true Christian? Being a real Christian means that we take the things of God seriously and we seek to follow Christ and His teachings. Jesus wants us to deny ourselves and follow Him. This is the true sign of a Christian. But. It does take time for some Christians to progress in their sanctification. Some people who are newly saved, find it very easy to give up the old ways, where others do not. Some new Christians have no problem in repenting and leaving certain sins behind, where others struggle. We must recognize that different people have different levels of sanctification before the Lord, and just because someone fails, does not mean he's not a Christian. On the other hand, we must admit that those who claim to be Christian but do not walk in the faith, don't go to church, and have no conviction about their sinful actions, are most probably not regenerate and are false converts. Jesus requires self-denial as well as following them. Following them can be costly because it means to be a disciple of Christ, not of the world. Okay, so I will pass out each a scripture to read and take home to memorize. Please study them, because next Bible study, I want you to know them by heart. Okay, who is Matthew 10:38? I do, it says, and he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Thank you, Wayne. Who is Matthew 16:24? I do, then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. Thank you Wilfred. Who is Luke 14 27-28? I do, Luke 14 27-28. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. 28. For which one of you, when he wants to build a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if he is enough to complete it. Thank you, Lola. And who is John 13, 35? Me? By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Thank you, Audrey. Now, that concludes our Bible study for today. Please don't forget to study the scriptures I've given you, so that you can read them without looking at the paper. I hope to see you all in church on Sunday. Now let's close in prayers.
Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly today, asking that you remove anything within us that is not pleasing to you. Lord, we thank you for sending your Son to pay the penalty for our sins. We ask your forgiveness for those things we have done that go against your commands. Lord, we ask that you renew us and purify us from within. Make us wholly pleasing to you. We desire to be people who serve you above all else. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Good night, Mom. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Good night, dear. I'm going to bed also. Jeff, what are you doing here? Surprised to see me, Trish. It's been a long time. Besides, this is my party. Didn't you know that? Believe me, if I had known that, I wouldn't be here. How did you know that I was here? Oh wait, never mind, I have a big mouth friend who can't keep her mouth close. Don't get mad at her, she was just keeping up with my guest attendance. But glad you can make it, and oh yeah, is your other friend coming? What's it to you? Yes she is coming. Good, cause I thought she was a church going girl who ain't allowed at parties, but glad she can make it, if she does. <laughs> Well, I guess you ain't find that funny. Well I gotta go and get the liquor for the party. It's gonna be lit. See you tomorrow night, and thanks for volunteering to decorate at your ex-boyfriend party who you despise. I'm not doing it for you Jeff, now bye. Can't wait for the Christmas party, but Jeff sure was looking good. Let me call Trish and see what time to be at the party. I'm still going regardless of my mom and pasta. I want just a little fun. Hello. Hey girl, what time is the party tonight? You still coming. What do you mean if I'm still coming? Of course, that's not changed one bit. I'll see you there. Honey, I need for you to clean this house up. The pasta is coming over to speak to me. Mom? The house isn't even dirty, plus why do he had to come here to talk to you? Why you can't meet him at the church? Young lady, this attitude of yours is off the chart. Now when you start paying some bills in this house, and part of the rent, then you can ask questions. But until then, stay in the child's place. Sure mom, I just find it strange that he is coming here, but I will clean up even though ain't nothing to clean. Good. Now put that phone down and get to work, young lady. Well, this is where Sister Lola lives. Nice home. Good evening, Pastor Mike. Please come in. Thank you, Sister Lola. So, Pastor, what brings you by to talk to me that couldn't wait till Sunday? Well, you've been a part of my congregation for five years. So I decided to make you head leadership of the church. I consider you a godly Christian woman, and a good role model, and guidance. Not just to your church members, but to this community as well. So will you accept the offer, Sister Lola? Why yes, of course. Thank you, Pastor. Pleasure all mine. But there's one thing. We have a meeting tonight in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is about a three-hour drive. We all ride in the van, so we can be there all at once without delay, we can be able to make it. Yes of course I can, I just have to get something straight with my daughter, then I will be good to go pasta. Okay great, then it's settled, I will see you in 4 hours. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you pasta. Look, I have to go to a meeting tonight, but I will be back. No going to that party young lady, and I mean it. Mom, I heard you since yesterday, I get it, no going to the party, I will be home bored out my mind reading my bible. So nothing to worry about. Something telling me that you are lying, but being a Christian woman, I have to put my trust in you and my faith in God to know that you won't be stupid tonight. I won't, now please, can I finish cleaning the kitchen? I'm going rest because we're leaving in four hours to head to Baton Rouge, so I'm going nap a bit. Okay, Mom. 
Yes, my chance to have fun, Baton Rouge is 3 hours there, and 3 hours back, total of 6 hours, gives me plenty of time to go to the party and enjoy myself. Okay, the pasta should be pulling up, remember what I said? What you do in the dark, will surely comes to the light, remember that? Yes I know that mom, stop worrying for a chance, and trust in me. I look good tonight. I hope she ready, because she is slow as a turtle. Girl, you right on time, I just opened the door to wait on you. Good, and I see you more than ready. I love the dress. You dress like you ready to get a man. <laughs> well it's true, where did you get it? If I may asks because girl you looking way better than me tonight. Oh, my mom helped me pick it out yesterday. She was a bit skeptical because of the length of the dress, but she told me just this once, and I am to never wear anything above my knees again. Well lucky you, I couldn't find what I really wanted to wear, but it's okay, might be full of vomit later. Let's go before the party starts girl. So, what about your other friend? Is she still going? Because I see she ain't in here. Yes, she is already there as a matter of fact. Her and Jeff and maybe others probably showed up by now. Great Jeff. The Jeff that you were dating before. But I thought that he left town for good to live with his dad. Yes, but apparently he's back. And what's even worse, is that the party we're going to, is his party. If I would've known that, I wouldn't have agreed to go in, and decorate. This sounds like a party gone wrong. How did you know it's his party? The night I went decorate he was there, and we exchanged words. Plus Don Reese and you, she was his party guest keeper, if you want to call it that. Oh, that figures. But look, let's just enjoy the night and forget about him. Sure, I can do just that. Look. I'm sorry the meeting got cancelled on such short notice. I wish I was told something earlier. It's okay pasta, at least we aren't too far out of town, thank goodness for that. And you're right about that. Let me call my daughter and let her know we're almost back home. My daughter isn't answering my calls, I wonder what she's doing. Maybe she's asleep by now, just wait till you get home. I'm pretty sure she's alright. But I understand that you are a concerned parent. And that's understandable. Yes, I'm sure she is. Pastor, if you don't mind, can we stop somewhere? I need to check something out before heading home if you don't mind. Yes sure, not a problem. Thank you Pastor, I really do appreciate this. So, is they on their way? Party is starting. Well yeah, I just talked to Trish. She's walking in now with her friend surprisingly. Great. Hey everyone, sorry we are a little late. What's good Trish? Glad you and your friend could make the party. Hey y'all. Hey Andrea. Well well, look who actually made it out the house to a party. I'm shocked. So tell me Andrea, did you have to sneak out the window, or was your momma asleep? Doris please behave, she here, that's all that matters to me. Plus besides, she didn't sneak out, her mom actually let her come and plus brought her the nice dress she has on. So please stop with your foolishness. Yeah Doris, chill with all that. Let's just have fun, it their guests will soon be here. I'm going to the men's room. I will be back. Oh but it's okay, I'm not worried about someone who is always worried about other people life, it's so irrelevant to me. I'm pretty much beyond the stupidity at this point. So you calling me stupid, church girl? No I wasn't calling you stupid, but if the shoe fits wear it. Now I don't have time for your nonsense, if I was a church girl, a holy girl, I wouldn't be here, now would I? Because you see, 
True Christians don't participate in activities like this. But hey, I'm here. So what's that telling you? Now you enjoy the party doors. I can't stand that girl. Girl chill out, stop worrying about her, look go outside and cool off, then come back in and let's get this party lit. Yeah, I guess. I don't understand why Trish can't see through this old hell for, she is as fake as a true dollar bill. Wait, who is that? Must be more party guess. Hello, sorry to bother you. I hope I didn't scare you, honey. No, are you a party guest? Because I can show you the way. No, I'm not a guest, but I'm glad that I'm out of the right place. But can you help me with something? It depends on what it is, ma'am. You may know my daughter, Andrea. She isn't answering my calls. And plus she asks me about going to a party tonight when I told her us Christians don't go to worldly things such as this. I'm not judging, but I just want to know if I'm at the right place or maybe I'm over exaggerating and she probably home. I don't know. Oh so you're her mom. It's such a pleasure to meet you here tonight. I'm more than glad that you stopped by. So is she here or not? Can you help me please? Oh, I can do more than just help you. Shall we go and join the party? I don't want to keep the guests waiting. Sure, let's go. I can't wait till I get a hold on that girl. Me either. Let's go, ma'am. This should be fun. Just what I was hoping. 